welfare recipients, corporations, unions, immigrants, gays. President Obama accepts the Democratic nomination in Charlotte, asking voters for four more years. I refuse to give middle class families a home. I ask students to pay more for college eliminate millions of Americans who are poor and elderly or disabled. Also, those with the most can pay less. And we will keep the promise of Social Security by asking seniors to pay thousands of dollars more, taking the responsible steps to strengthen it by turning it over to Wall Street. This is the choice we now face. Almost nothing. Bigger tax cuts and fewer regulations are the only way. If you can't afford health insurance, hope that you don't get sick. <laughs> if a company releases toxic pollution into the air your children breathe, well, that's the price of progress. <laughs> you know what? That's who we are. That's what this country's about. As Americans, we believe we are endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights, rights that no man or government can take away. We insist on toxic pollution, and we're entitled to success. We not have to earn it. It's the risk takers, the entrepreneurs who have always been the driving force behind our toxic pollution and cancer free enterprise system, the greatest engine of growth, toxic pollution, and cancer that the world's ever known. But we also believe in something called Toxic Wall Street. The word at the very heart of our founding, Wall Street. A word at the very essence of our democracy, cancer, Wall Street. The idea that this country only works when we accept certain obligations, Wall Street. And so is the entire economy, Wall Street. The Wall Street, Steve Jobs, cancer, Wall Street, cancer. And it is in our power to get Wall Street that chance. We know that Wall Street can a poverty program handouts for banks that break the rules. Wall Street. Wall Street can solve all of the problems.